Hey everyone, it's Anna. I wanted to come on tonight and share some mail that I've received this month. Uh, some of these are uh, birthday items and then there's also some Halloween things in here too. So let's go ahead and take a look and see the wonderful things that I've received lately. So this little red package is from subscriber and longtime blog reader Jan Ilmore. Jan, hi, I hope you're doing well. She sent me this adorable pumpkin card and it's uh, craft paper. Beautiful little stack of pumpkins there next to a pretty aqua turquoise bucket. And then inside there's a little pumpkin as well. Fall greetings. And she's left me a really nice note inside. So thank you so much for that, Jan. And then she's also sent me a couple of stencils she picked up recently. She shops at Frantic Stamper. And she says she's been purchasing some of my Impression Obsession dies there. And she saw these and picked these up as well. So these are Funky Fossil stencils. This first one here is the Farmer's Market words. And it kind of looks like words that you would see painted on like apple crates and fruit crates and things like that. Fun. And then this one is also from Funky Fossil, and it's just autumn words. I love that pumpkin. That's fun. So really cool. These are going to be fun to play with. So thank you so much for those. Oh, this one's called, the first one's called Farmer's Market, and the second one is called Autumn Days. So that's, that's those. So thanks, Jan. That's super nice of you. Love that. I also got a card from uh, Gabby, Gabby with an I, and she sent me this for our Baking in October inspiration series that we have for this month, and uh, pumpkin muffins. This is one of the recently released Adornit stamps from Diana Markham. Fun pumpkin there. She stamped it on watercolor paper and watercolored the image, and she did add some glossy accents here to the leaves, so they have a really nice sparkle to them. Nice, beautiful bow that she's um, tea dyed, it looks like. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And she's even used the paper here in the background as well. And she's done some crazy faux stitching. You know how I love to see that. So gorgeous card, Gabby. Thank you so much. And uh, that one is just in time. I received it just in time last week um, for the inspiration series. So unfortunately, just getting around to sharing it. <laughs> This is a beautiful um, painted postcard that I got from Joanne, Joanne Rabideau. Hi, Joanne. Happy Halloween. She's um, uber, uber creepy. <laughs> I love her green tights and her purple eyeshadow. <laughs> so thank you for that, Joanne. It's a nicely watercolored um, card, card uh, watercolor paper cardstock. And look at that beautiful stamp on there. Ooh, that would be a good one for Christmas. A postcard stamp. Gorgeous. I also got a card for my friend Carol Rowe. Carol um, and I have been friends for years and years and um, so I love getting cards from Carol and she sent me this Hey Boo card for Halloween. Love the background paper. Really cute image. And then of course she's left me a fun note inside there for Halloween as well. So I love that orange card base too. So thank you for that cute card Carol. And then I got a card from my friend Carrie Baker. Carrie and I have also been stamping friends for, uh, since I first started stamping. So going on almost 20 years, Carrie and I have been friends. So this is an adorable card. I love these little images that she's colored and fussy cut. How cute are those? Makes for a really sweet little Halloween scene. <laughs> Scary, but not too scary. Creepy, but not too creepy. <laughs> Adorable images. And she uses uh, a black gel pen to add accents to her eyes when she colors. So I love that. Cute card, Carrie. I also got a uh, package in the mail. This package is from Terry Reitemeyer, and Terry is a viewer here on the channel as well. So hi, Terry. I love your card. This black cat is really cool. Very cool. Smile, you trickster. <laughs> I love these stars here in the background. And this die is really interesting shape here. So this background die here. I love that. So thank you for that fun card. And then she's uh, signed the back of it as well. Cute little pumpkin on there. And then um, on the inside, oops, her little note fell out. On the inside, she's decorated it as well. She's got Happy Halloween stamped on there. So really, really fun Halloween card. It came in this black envelope with this foam glittered boo. 
So that's cute. And then she also sent uh, a few goodies as well. So she sent me this stash of buttons here. She said, which I love this. She said that um, as a kid, she has jars and jars of them, first of all. And she said as a kid, her um, dad owned a laundromat. And so there were always buttons around. And she, so she still has jars and jars of buttons from his laundromat, which I think is so fun. And anytime I see old buttons like this, I always wonder, you know, were these on somebody's shirt? Who were they? What did they do? So really cute. Love all those little white ones. So those will certainly come in handy. She also sent me this um, My Favorite Things stamp set by Lisa Johnson. And I know this one is long retired. And I don't think it has a date on it. But it's called Pretty Pumpkin. And then she also sent, uh, sent the die set that goes with it as well. She had a duplicate of both of these in her stash. So love this. I really liked Lisa Johnson's um, artwork that she did for um, My Favorite Things. So... She also sent me some Halloween paper. So cute. This is from Little Yellow Bicycle. Blast from the past. It's called Booville. <laughs> so really cute paper. Perfectly creepy. And then she had everything uh, wrapped up really nicely in this cute little cello bag that says Halloween on it. Happy Halloween on it. And had these cute pumpkins on there as well. So thank you so much for that, Terry. And then she also sent this fun cork paper. She sent me a birthday card and it had uh, some cone flowers on it and she'd used some cork paper and I was just ooing and aahing over it, I'm sure. So she sent me uh, some of that paper and this is retired Stampin' Up! products. Um, so isn't that cool? It's super, super thin and it feels really nice. Um, like to touch it, it's really, I don't know, satiny smooth on it almost. So very cool. So thank you so much for that, Terry. Love it. And then I also got a package uh, in the mail from Valentina Be uh, Decker. And Val lives in Canada. So let's cover up her address here. And she sent, she always sends the cutest little stickers on her packages. So there's a little cow, there's some sunflowers, there's a Canadian flag up here on the top and a beautiful Canadian lighthouse postage stamp. And then on the back, she's also decorated it with a big butterfly and some washi tape as well. So beautiful little decorate, decorated envelope. So thank you for that, Val. And then she also sent me some goodies. So let's take a look and see what's in here. This cute little image, I think, is from Impression Obsession. One of Lindsay's. Hey, hi, how are you? Isn't that cute? So she's left me a little note on the back here. And um, she sent me a die that she had a duplicate of. And this is a cute little gingerbread die set with some tiny little gingerbreads. Itty bitties. And there's even some smaller ones right here. Good night. Those are little. So that might be fun to use. So thank you for that so much, Val. And then she also sent me a tag that uses my chicken die. So let's take a look at this here. This is so fun. Really nice sized tag. It's got a really nice fishtail on it. And she's sewn around it as well. It's actual thread on there. So that's above and beyond as far as I'm concerned. Uh, she's got some beautiful uh, fishtail banners on here. She's got also some faux stitching as well. And then my adorable chicken and her little chick. Cute little decoration up here at the top. I love that orange button. It's got stitching around the button as well. Cute. Cute paper. And then she's put a little sticker on the back, handmade with love, and put her initials on there. So I think that is so cute. And this folds around from the front. That's adorable. Really, really cute, Val. And then she also sent me a card. And this card uses uh, stamp set by Sam Poole. So, hi, Sam. <laughs> uh, this is from, you can pick it up at scrapbook.com, I think. Um, probably some other places as well, but I know scrapbook.com has it. It comes with the girl gingerbread and a boy gingerbread as well. So, very cute, cute art from Sam. And this card is adorable, Val. I love the, um, the yellow bow on here. It's similar to the one that Gabby had on her card as well. So, this must be the season for yellow um, seam binding. <laughs> Love that cute little paper doily on here as well. And also the faux stitching on here. Love that. <laughs> Such a cute card. So thank you so much for that, Val. And then she also included just a little piece of paper here to protect the front of that card in the envelope. And then also one more thing that she had in here, which is the cutest thing, is this cute little gingerbread charm. And she's put it on a bulb pin. 
And how cute is that? <laughs> Adorable. So thank you so much for that. That's the first one of those I think I have. Then I also got a birthday package from a friend of mine, Kat, and uh, she sent me a cute little um, candle holder. Um, I have it on the mantle. It is a golden retriever, and he's sitting behind a great big pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern pumpkin, and you put a little tea light in there, and it's adorable on my mantle. Um, but she also sent me a few other goodies that I'll share with you here. First of all, the birthday card. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is the funniest card. Cat, thank you so much. And in it, it says basically, you're how old? You gotta be clucking kidding me. <laughs> love it. I love puns. Uh, she also had this cute little gingerbread bag in the package and inside was this spoon. How cute is that? Love those little prim gingers. And then inside was this little container decorated on top with this beautiful little um yo-yo that she's decorated prim fabric yo-yo with a great big pom-pom and some little holly die cuts there there's this cute little santa tag so cute and then inside she's given me a bunch of little goodies uh one of them being this cute refrigerator magnet and she probably made this <laughs> cute little ginger so he is going to go on the refrigerator and then she put in here a bunch of these little doodads for crafting gingerbread buttons stars there's these little cookie cutter buttons cute little things there's a little wooden heart cute little gingerbread a snowflake oh another little ginger let's see look at that little guy little charm cute here's a cool button it is a vintage image of people making a snowman and it's got a great big dome on the top a little wooden button that has santa on it there's a little heart that has a snowflake on it there's a little uh, together sunshine button a little bow that's adorable this is cute, this little peppermint candy, and it has a nice dome on top of it as well. A bigger sun uh, snowflake and a little house. That's a button too, cute. There's a key. I mean, just gobs and gobs of things in here. That adorable um, clay button that has a candy cane on it. Some colored bulb pins, cute little jingle bells. Cute. So love those things. Thank you for those. And then she also sent me, which I just love, this little bag of goodies here. So let's take these out and see what's in here. Looks like there's some Christmas trims. Ooh, that's beautiful. Olive green and this gorgeous Christmas red. Actually, it's not even a Christmas red. It's more like a Merlot. That's gorgeous. I love this. Mm. With love at Christmas. That's cute too. A little twill ribbon. Thank you for that. Let's see. This is a vintage Art Deco glass button from the 30s. Ooh. Look at that. How cool. Maybe it goes this way. Looks kind of like a lotus flower or something. That's gorgeous. See, once again, who did this, whose garment did this come from? What did she do? <laughs> this beautiful lace was wrapped up around um, the package here. So isn't this gorgeous? This is vintage lace as well. Look how beautiful that is. So that will be fun to use. I need to think of a special project for that. And then she sent me some fun vintage buttons. She's thrift a thrifter and she finds the neatest things. These are little snaps, green and red. How cute is that? All ready for Christmas. There's some crystal colored ones with gold accent. Cute. Some more green ones. Ooh, those are really pretty green. 
and these little snaps. <laughs> Cute. And then in here, let's see. She's got a little hanky and a vintage card. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, this is, must be like a bookmark. Nope. Oh, it's got a little tie on it. It's had little tassels. How beautiful is that? A Merry Christmas. Oh, it had somebody's info in here. Oh. Grandpa and Grandma. I can't read the last name. How cute is that? And Merry Christmas. I love the old font. How fun. What a fun card. Oh, thank you for that, Kat. And this beautiful little handkerchief as well. Ooh. This will be cute on my... I have that little tiered tray here on my desk. This will be cute up there on that. Oh, it's like a poinsettia ball. Oh, thank you so much, Kat. This is so fun. Thank you so much, everyone, for all the fun mail. It is always so fun to go to the post office and have something that's a surprise. And uh, I just love all the cards that I receive and uh, just all the nice greetings that everybody sends to me. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at all my fun mail. And thank you so much to all the ladies who um, sent me goodies. I really appreciate it. And all your cards and kind words. I love that. So thank you so much, everyone. Have a wonderful night, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.